we are picking up right where the last video left off. I did go feed Sarah and Cindy's cats this morning because they're out of town. So I was just feeding their cats. I had my morning coffee, just posted my last vlog that you guys hopefully have watched. I have to start packing. <laughs> I think I just like don't really know what to do first. There's still some stuff that hasn't sold from Facebook Marketplace. In an ideal world, every single thing furniture wise that needs to be sold would have sold by now. I'm probably gonna end up just like putting certain things on the street and just posting on Facebook Marketplace and being like, come and get this. There are so many different little areas to tackle that I just don't know what to do first. I know the kitchen is gonna be one of the last things. I just don't know what should be the first thing. I guess my office area or winter clothes. To be quite honest, y'all, I don't wanna do any of it. I'm feeling a little bit paralyzed by all of the different things I could do. Maybe I should start with winter clothing so then I can see what clothing to get rid of. I've already started collecting clothing, but I feel like there's probably more things I could pull. I just have such a hard time getting rid of things, okay? So I am scared that I'm gonna start going through my clothing and not get rid of anything. And then I'm gonna start packing it in boxes. And then I'm gonna have just like seven boxes of clothing. And I'm gonna be like, well, that's probably too much. I should probably go through that again. And I'm gonna have to open it up again. And then I'm gonna have to get rid of stuff. You know, I just like don't, I don't know what to do. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm feeling overwhelmed? I leave this apartment exactly two weeks from tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. I've moved so many times in my life, but moving never gets easier because as the years go on, you just accumulate more and more things. So it's like you start with a dorm room and then you move to a bigger apartment and then you just collect more things in the next apartment and then the next apartment. And like, this is one of the biggest apartments I've lived in. I have the most belongings I've ever had in my entire life because I'm the oldest I've ever been. And I also have more furniture that I love and care about that I am going to bring with me to the next apartment. Whereas other apartments I've lived in, I just haven't had furniture that I've felt the need to keep with me. Now I have furniture that I wanna keep. And and that's really throwing a wrench in it all. So I don't really know where to start. Maybe this room. I need to kind of clear out a space so I can build one of these boxes because I just like have stuff all over this floor and I need to move this out of the way so I can build a box. Help. <laughs> think I've had a productive day so far. Packing is odd because like my room still looks like a disaster, but I have been doing stuff, but it still looks awful. So we're taking a little bit of a break. I'm at USPS, two more things sold on my Depop. So I'm gonna ship those out. And then I'm gonna go pick up lunch at Mendocino Farms, of course. I'm also on my period. So I'm feeling just like disgusting, but I guess I would rather it be this week than next week before I move. So we're just getting it out of the way, but I do feel kind of gross. I've been feeling gross all morning moving around my house. I wish I could just like work on one thing in packing and like get it done and tape up a box and just like put it away but i've been just like moving to different locations around my house i'm doing my office area i'm doing my back closet i'm taking pictures down off the wall i don't know i'm just like moving around a lot i can't focus on one thing i feel like if i just got all of the stuff off the floor in my office area it would look so much better but i just unfortunately can't only focus on that area like i need to move around and bop around it's about like 1 p.m it's really overcast today i was gonna start a new audiobook as i move around the house because it's like that's the perfect time to listen to an audiobook is when you're doing a task like that. But I've just been listening to Taylor Swift all morning, which has like made me naturally just like sad about moving and everything, which makes sense. I shouldn't be listening to Taylor Swift. It's gonna make me sad. So maybe I should start an audiobook. Other thoughts I've had while packing include I own too many clothes. I definitely could get rid of more, but I don't want to. So I am really scared to kind of see the total amount of boxes I have. I definitely need to go to Lowe's and buy more boxes, which I kind of knew. I don't know how many more I want to go back and buy, but I definitely need more boxes for the kitchen stuff. In this current moment, I'm not feeling overwhelmed. I think I'm just feeling, I think I'm just feeling kind of weird. In exactly two weeks, I'm leaving and it just feels kind of weird, obviously, because I've lived here for four years. You spend four years in college and then you graduate and then you like kind of have to get the fuck out. Like, I guess you could stay in the same city as where you went to college, but like in theory, you leave. It's been four years and I'm not graduating from anything. No one's making me leave. It's all voluntary. It's really interesting to be feeling weird and sad because I'm the one doing it. No one's telling me that 
I have to leave. Like I'm intentionally putting myself through these emotions that I also know that I'm not supposed to be here anymore. I want to go. I want to leave. I'm purposely putting myself through these emotions because I want to put myself through these emotions because I'm excited for the next chapter and I'm ready to leave here and I'm ready to move on. I'm actually going to stop myself because I do want to do a sit down video talking about my decision to move and like how we got here. I want to do that in a separate video, not in this video. This is a packing video. In this moment, I'm feeling weird. That's all I have right now. Okay, I'm gonna go into USPS. We have a not so fried chicken sandwich. My favorite sandwich from Mendocino Farms. I think a barbecue sauce and I think a mustard. Ooh, so good. I'm gonna eat this and watch the new episode of Love Island UK because I feel like it's out. I feel like it's normally out by this time. I guess I'll keep packing for the rest of the evening. What if I didn't? What if I didn't want to? really am not understanding what my hair is doing at this moment in time. That's, that's really not making sense to me. This morning I sold the rug in the living room. I sold the TV in my bedroom and I also sold the chair in my office, which is great, great, great to get three things out of the way, three big items. I did pick out an audiobook to start listening to yesterday, Expiration Days by Rebecca Searle. I've read one other book by her. I read that book in five years, which was a really quick read. This is only seven and a half hours. The reason I picked this book is because someone DM'd me. Let me go find her name. Miriam DM'd me and she said that she just read the book and she said that she thought I might like it because when I read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, I said that I liked how they mentioned Los Angeles spots. I do love when a book is mentioning places that you've been. Like it just makes it so fun because you can like picture it so clearly. Expiration Dates takes place in West Hollywood, which is where I currently live. And she was like, oh, I thought that you might like it because you live there slash you're moving. And like, maybe it would be like a fun thing to read as I'm leaving and like she's so correct actually that is exactly what I want to read as I'm leaving this place which is a little bit sad okay oh it's describing all these places that I've been for so long but then it's also kind of fun because it's kind of like a fun send-off anyways the book is about this girl named Daphne she lives in West Hollywood and she essentially has like a curse I don't know if you would call it a curse but every time she meets a new man or goes on a date with a new man and just a man that she is going to get involved with romantically she gets a piece of paper that says their name and how long they're gonna last. So it would say like Steven, three months, Tyler, one year, Nick, 30 minutes. It started when she was younger. And of course, you know, the first slip of paper that she got, she like didn't know what it was. And then over time she was like, okay, I understand what these mean. And so the book picks up, she goes on a date and she gets a piece of paper and it says the guy's name, but it doesn't have a timestamp. That's never happened before. So she's like, is this the guy that I'm gonna be with forever? Because why is there not a timestamp? And so that's where the book starts. It's such a fun concept for a book book. As you guys know, love a book about a girl dating, trying to figure out her life, dating in West Hollywood, which I have been doing for years now. And a minute and 18 seconds in, a minute and 18 seconds in, I swear I looked at the timestamp. This girl is like, I'm going on a date to Gracias Madre, which Gracias Madre was right by our old apartment that we lived in two years ago. And I shit you not, 30 second walk. Whenever I would match with a man on a dating app and he would be like, oh, like, you know, is there a place that you want to go in your area or whatever? I would always say gracias madre because it was a 30 second walk from my front door. So it was just like a selfish thing to say, but I would just get dressed and I would walk out and I would go meet him. That was like my first date spot. That was where I always wanted to go on a first date because it was just like the most convenient. And I also love a margarita. The fact that a minute and 18 seconds in, this girl is talking about going on a date to gracias madre. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I definitely picked the right book. I'm her, minus the whole like getting a slip of paper with a man's name and like not having a timestamp and then wondering if this man is the man you're gonna be with forever. That didn't happen to me at Gracias Madre, but I have been on some dates at Gracias Madre. Anyway, she is just naming like every single location ever that I've like lost count. I'm like, well, yeah, I've been there, been there, know where that is. So I do have a little bit of a bias with this because I'm having fun because she's just like naming places that I know. I wonder if it was a different city, what I would be thinking right now. I'm having fun 
fun. I think the concept is fun. I don't think anything crazy has happened yet. I've been blabbering for quite some time. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you guys an update of my room, even though it doesn't look great. And then what I think I wanna do today is I want to do the kitchen, even though I said I wanted to do the kitchen last. Like I really am liking jumping around to different areas. So I think I wanna go through the kitchen just because I'm like tired of doing stuff in my room. Megan moved out over the weekend and she didn't want anything from the kitchen. And so I'm gonna go through it on my own and figure out what I wanna keep and what I wanna donate. I didn't wanna do the kitchen for a little while because I didn't wanna like pull all the glasses out and like cover all the counter space and like cover this dining room table. And it was just gonna make everything just chaotic. Now that I'm the only one here, I feel like I can take over the space, take over the counter space and the table and stuff. And it's not like as disrupting because I'm the only one that has to deal with it. I don't know if it's gonna be better or worse than going through my bedroom stuff. I'm nervous about the kitchen stuff because I feel like it's gonna take up way more boxes than what I'm thinking. I am blabbering quite a bit because again, I'm procrastinating. I don't actually wanna start packing today. That's what I'm doing all day today is just packing. That's what I do all day, every day these days. Like I said, this rug sold this morning. This was stuff from our bar. All of this alcohol that's left over, I texted my neighbor and they like have a band play. Sometimes when they throw parties, I texted her and asked her if she wanted any of this. So I think she's gonna come over and take a lot of this alcohol and stuff. These are some of the glasses that I'm gonna sort through and see what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep. Here's Megan's room. It's empty now. It looks so crazy, but this is her room. My office area, I feel like has been the hardest area for me. I think it's just because there's so many like little things that then you have to like, I don't know. I just, this area has been hard for me. These are all clothes that I'm donating, giving away. These are the two bags that I'm gonna pack with the stuff that I wanna use immediately, like as if I'm going on a trip. These are clothes that are also kind of more summertimey and stuff that I would probably wear more immediately that I've left hanging there. This side of the closet is still filled with all of the stuff that I've knit. I have not packed any of this. Ugh, we have to figure that out. As I'm showing you guys everything, I am realizing how much stuff I have left to do and I feel like, I feel like I've been doing stuff nonstop. I don't know how there's still this much. Let me show you guys my back closet because I feel like that's the area that I've really improved upon. These three boxes are winter clothing. Obviously that stuff is piled on top. It is organized underneath it, I swear. So I am proud of this. Obviously I'm gonna deal with the hangers. This closet is completely completely empty. This box is just like random pillows and like a duvet cover and stuff. That's my extra large box with bulky stuff. I have been thinking about this moment for a while. We're gonna have to recycle my pickle jars because it just feels stupid to pack. If I want more pickle jars in my next apartment, I'll just buy another jar of pickles and you know, eat the pickles and then I'll have another jar. We're gonna have to recycle these. That's so sad. Aww. <laughs> stuff like there's some random stuff where it's like yeah I do need a strainer in my next apartment but do I want to keep this strainer or just ditch it like it's kind of stuff like that but this is everything I'm considering keeping some definite yes some maybe and then over there is all of the stuff that I'm donating let me show you this is a whole thing of stuff that I'm donating the microwave was here when we got here so leaving that obviously taking my KitchenAid mixer gonna get rid of this air fryer the Keurig and the toaster or maybes there's all of these paper plates and solo cups that I'll probably eat on for the next few days because I just want to pack all of the stuff that I want to keep and then you know so we're just going to be eating off of paper plates for the next few days it's been a morning I'm trying to think about what I want to do next I do need to run to USPS I could go ahead and make one run to Goodwill I know Sarah wants to take some stuff to Goodwill so we'll probably go together could start putting some kitchen stuff in a box oh my god I don't know why putting things in the box is the hard part for me like I would much rather like pull things out and weed through things it's like the actual physical packing part that I don't like okay Facebook market place message. Hold on. Something about putting 
it in the box I don't really like. Putting stuff in a suitcase I'm fine with. I feel like the box I don't like because it's just a little bit more Tetris-y slash I think I'm more aware of how heavy the box is and I'm scared that it's gonna like fall through the bottom whereas like a suitcase isn't gonna break really. The zipper might bust but it's not gonna like fall out the bottom. I do need to fill up the boxes and tape the boxes because then I'll have a better idea of how many more I need to go get. I'm not gonna let myself go buy more boxes until I fill the ones I already have. I'm not good at taping up the boxes. I don't know what's up with me. Fingers crossed there's a girl that says that she's gonna come buy my Tipperpedic mattress topper today at 6 p.m. and I really hope that she pulls through because I want that out of here. Nobody wants my desk. I don't know why nobody wants my desk. Actually, I'm like obsessed with my desk. I think it's a really good desk, okay? I don't know why no one wants it. I'm also hungry and I want lunch. So I could do USPS Goodwill pick up lunch. did finally tape up my first box. Who's proud of me? A girl messaged me on Facebook Marketplace and said that she wanted our coffee table, so I need to move all of this stuff off. I'm gonna move the glasses to the dining table, the glasses back here, and then the alcohol I'll just put on the ground. This girl's coming to get this in like 20 minutes. Hopefully the girl comes at 6 p.m. to get my tempur mattress topper, and then all we would have left in my desk in my desk chair. That is sick. I feel like I've done such a good job about Facebook Marketplace doing it, you know, weeks beforehand and gradually selling stuff because you just can't do it all at once or you're just gonna end up putting like so much of it on the street. And I feel like I've done a really good job of that. Really proud of myself. Facebook Marketplace is the best at the beginning of the month because that's when everybody's moving into their new leases. And so you hit all of the people that are looking for new furniture. Whenever you list at the end of the month, it's like really, really cheap items because everybody's getting rid of shit. But that's also the best time to buy stuff, you know? So if you move into a new place on the first and then you wait, like two weeks, then you'll start getting prices that are a little bit lower. So I am at the end of the month now, so I'm probably gonna really drop down the prices on this desk. Two weeks ago was when I was just like selling so much stuff. Okay, I'm gonna move all of this stuff before she gets here. We just might have to go sideways. Okay. Yeah. Are you serious about this liquor? We can just take some of this? Yeah. Loved them. They took my coffee table and then they also took a bunch of random liquor. I was like, have at it, y'all. And they were like, you sure? And I was like, I am pretty positive. I do need you to take that. They didn't take it all. There's a little bit left, but they took a lot of it. And then they took my canvas. I wanted them to take some kitchen stuff. They didn't take any kitchen stuff. So I am about to take that to Goodwill. Putting this Goodwill stuff in my car. I'm gonna pick up Sarah because she has some stuff she wants to take to Goodwill. We're gonna run to USPS. And then I'm gonna get me some food because I am starving. I have not eaten all day. And it's like, what time is it? It is 3.30. I've only had a banana today because I've just been like, go, go, go. I think after this, I'm gonna get food and shower and relax and like watch Love Island or something. I feel like I made a lot of headway today. This whole vlog is just me packing and picking up food from Mendocino Farms. I did not film me and Sarah going to Goodwill or USPS or anything because there was just a lot of shit in the car. I got the new sandwich at Mendocino Farms. It's an heirloom tomato BLT and I've been wanting to try it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Paper plate track. We didn't make it to Lowe's today. Maybe that'll be the first thing I do tomorrow. I don't even know what this video is like anymore, okay? Because I just feel like it's a little monotonous, but that's what it is, you know? Like you, we're packing and then we eat and then we pack and then we eat and like that's what my life is right now. I didn't film yesterday. I think it's two days since I last filmed. I didn't really do much yesterday. I was honestly like so exhausted and I should have gone to Lowe's, but I was just putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And so today we're going back to Lowe's because I do need more boxes. But yeah, yesterday I could have done more. That's why we're doing this gradually. I can take a day off. I feel like I'm at a good pace. Today I'm gonna try to be really productive. I'm going to Lowe's. I'm buying more boxes. I'm going to fill said boxes and I want to go to bed tonight feeling like I'm in a really good position. Big goals today. I've gone back and forth on how many boxes I think I should buy at Lowe's. I told the movers 10 boxes and that was before I packed anything. Like I just threw out a random number. I was like, I don't know, 10 boxes. And then two days before the actual move, they check in to get another inventory list. So I told them like, oh, a bed frame, 10 boxes, painting, like you list all of the different things. And so I told them 10 boxes. And so that is what I'm trying to stick to in my mind. Even 
though it was just a random number I threw out, like I had no clue how many boxes I was going to have. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, you should get three because that totals to 10, but I feel like I need four. But then I'm like, I might as well just get five because God forbid I have to go back to Lowe's again. So I think I'm just going to get five. I think I might get four medium and one large. I mean, if Lowe's was closer, I wouldn't feel this way about it, but it is like a 30 minute drive and then 30 minute drive back. So it's like an hour in the car. That's why I've been putting it off. I should have gone yesterday. I just couldn't do it, y'all. Love Island, US and UK. Wonderful as usual. My audiobook, I really don't have any thoughts on that. I need to listen to it more. We're going to try to have a really fulfilling day. Fingers crossed. The fact that I'm saying it means that it kind of has to happen. You just have to lie to yourself. You know, like I love packing. I love moving. It's so, so, so fun. The thing is, I actually don't really... I can't, mm. I haven't really minded it. If you start early, it's always a little bit better. Like if you cram it in at the last minute, of course you're gonna hate it. One time I did have to move out of my apartment in a day. That was during COVID times. Like I literally had to move out of my apartment in a day and get my ass to Tennessee, March, 2020. That's another story. That sucked. This moving is like a little bit better because I just started so early. So I can take days off. Like I didn't feel guilty not doing as much yesterday. If someone came to me today and they're like, hey, you have to be out by tomorrow. Like I could do it. I would probably stay up really late, but like I'm at a place where I could do it. I am drinking my coffee out of a red solo cup. This is coffee, nothing else. Cheers. I love driving to Lowe's. It's very close. I love driving to my local Lowe's just right down the street, right down the street, 30 minutes away. I stopped at Target. This could be the last Target run. I don't know. There might be one more left. Two things of barbecue chips. It was two for five. And you know, I eat these with my sandwiches. I got some cold brew because I'm going to pack up what I normally steep my cold brew in. So I'm going to need this next week. I got a thing of lemonade, four bananas. Last but not least, Sour Patch. And that's my Target haul. I reached, I think, exactly the 50% mark in my audiobook. I'm just like wondering where it's gonna go. If we believe the rule, like you get a slip of paper and it says the amount of time, and like that rule cannot be broken, then I don't see where it's going. And if that rule's broken, the integrity of the book is just gone. Are slowly making progress. I have not finished one of these boxes yet, have not taped any of them up, but I thought I would show you guys all of the breakable things that I'm packing that if these things break, I will be beside myself. Like they are irreplaceable by definition, like they are irreplaceable. I think there's only one thing that I would be able to rebuy, but everything else is actually irreplaceable. So this is the part of the vlog where I show you things that I will cry over if they break. Item number one is this bunny teapot. This was my grandmother's that she gave to me and obviously sentimental value and don't, don't know where she got this. It's decades old. His head comes off. Breakable item number two that I am addicted to is this cookie jar. Sarah got this for my birthday. I guess it was last year. Sarah got this for my birthday last year. This is a cookie jar that looks like this gorgeous, gorgeous house. I want to live in this house. This house is so cute. It says 1986. Does that mean that this is from 1986? That's crazy. I think she got this at a thrift store. I'm so obsessed with it. I think it's so gorgeous. Item number three. This is going to go ahead and be the all too well snow globe from Taylor Swift's official store. Maybe one day they would sell this again. So if this broke, maybe I could replace it, but probably not. They, they don't really restock things like this that often or ever. If this breaks, I don't know what I'll do. This is the only thing that I would be able to replace because my mom bought me two of these. I've already packed the other one and I don't know where she got them, but she got them relatively recently. So in theory, I could repurchase this, but I don't want him to break because I love him so much. He's so cute. The last thing, if it broke, I would be beside myself is this young woman right here. I made this in ceramics in college. I, I sit her places. I think she's so cute and I couldn't replace her because I don't take ceramics anymore. I guess I could go somewhere and just like remake her. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Those are kind of our top items. So everybody cross your fingers that these, these don't break. I'm going to wrap these especially well. I'm really scared about this snow globe. 
Throughout this video, I keep listing items I still need to sell on Facebook Marketplace, and I keep forgetting that I need to sell my mattress. I said in my last video that my mattress has been hurting my back, so I'm not really sad about getting rid of this. And actually, some nights my back has hurt so bad that I'm like, wait, I'm just gonna go sleep on the couch. Like, sometimes I've actually wanted to sleep on the couch instead of this bed, so I will be sleeping on the couch for the next week. Some man is coming to buy it. He's gonna be here in like 15 minutes, so I need to unmake my bed, potentially push it out there. There's just a box of condoms behind me. Oh, come on. This whole vlog has been the course of the past week because today I'm exactly a week from moving. Coffee in a solo cup again. Okay, I need to unmake my bed. When I lay on it like this, it doesn't feel too soft, but clearly it is. My issue when I sleep is I always feel like I want, I like always feel the need to like shove something underneath my lower back. It just like feels like my lower back is like dropping. I jam pillows like underneath the small of my back, like on this side, and then I jam it under here. This is really soft. I don't know y'all. Oh my god, it's falling. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. If he wants to lay on it before he leaves, then he can just lay it right there. Watch him say that he doesn't want it and I have to move it back into my room. <laughs> This is my new bed. How exciting is this? I did finish my audiobook and I wanted to give some final thoughts on it. My thoughts are that I think I'm gonna give it three stars. I think the main reason I liked it was because she was naming West Hollywood locations. If it was a different city, I don't even know if it would be three stars. It might be two and a half. Like it was a fine book, but like just the story wasn't doing much for me. And it was such a good concept that I thought I would have more fun with it. It just kind of fell flat for me personally. But yeah, wanted to give my thoughts on that before I finish this video. This is the end of the video. The next video is going to be my final week in Los Angeles. So look forward to that. Bonkers. Like that is just like so insane to say out loud. Hope you guys are enjoying all of these packing, moving vlogs. I'm having a lot of fun making them. This is just the beginning because I'm going to be moving into another apartment and then we get to show all of that. And that's really exciting. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Letterboxd, Snapchat, Twitter, which is now X and Goodreads. Those are all the places you can find me. And you can also subscribe to me on here. And with that, I think this is goodbye. Oh my god, there's still so much to do, oh my god.